listening, if you have um, people, if you're interested in aviation, there's lots of opportunities out there right now. So tell us as, as you're working on that board um, and probably networking, I mean, you you rose really quickly in this field. How did that happen from starting your business all the way to being you know, on this FAA advisory board? Was it just through networking or how did, you know, because there's entrepreneurs and leaders out there right now going, gosh, how did she make that leap? So what what do you think were the keys to, to kind of making that happen? Um, first, I think is curiosity, right? I'm always interested to hear what other people have to say, because all the way back to my journalism days and wanting to know people's story. So really listening to people and making them feel heard is greatly lacking in this industry. So by doing that, set myself apart. Um, second is investing in coaching for myself. So I um, invested in group coaching first and then one-on-one -on -one coaching, became a coach um, and receive ongoing training and coaching as a part of being a coach. So um, being curious, investing in myself and then being tenacious. Of course, for those people who are entrepreneurs, you know that you have to keep going even when you don't feel like it, that you have to be tenacious, that you need people around you who don't let you quit. And um, when that board was created in the FAA reauthorization bill of 2018, I just kept looking for other people to reach out to, to get myself appointed to that board because my daughter was going into aviation and I wanted to make a difference for her. So I, I pursued um, Secretary Chow's office. Um, I went through everyone that I knew in DC who could make a recommendation or who might have an in or might know someone at Department of Transportation who could put a good word in for me. And, um, and then I followed up, I asked her to speak or to at least open an event that I was putting on. And Dana, it was one of the coolest moments of my life because the way she said yes to that. And the way that I found out that I was on the board is that they sent me the video and she began introducing the event. She talked about the board and she said, of which Renee Bangelsdorf is a member 